Hey guys, today I wanted to do something that was slightly more important than a Magic the Gathering deck tech or finance or I don't really know what I do in this channel anymore. But I wanted to talk about the election, the, American, the US election that is happening. At this point in time, it seems that Donald Trump has won or he has a clear path of victory and Hillary is in a lot of trouble. So before I begin this video, I do want to give you some background about my personal experiences. So I'm in technology. I ran a software company and we had free developers, a salesperson, and everyone was extremely liberal. Everyone was extremely, how can I say it in a polite way? They pretty much complained about everything. They were whiners and complainers and they wanted to buy the best laptop for a startup. They wanted to buy a ergonomical chair and a keyboard and double screens and have like five year Apple protection. That is the type of startup I worked at previously. And for many reasons it failed, but largely because I think people, they took advantage of you know, the, the system and the investors. I go to a lot of conferences, I speak at a ton of conferences, and my opinions are always so different uh, from, I'm always talking about revenue and you know trying to make money for the investors. The speaker before me and the speaker after me will talk about a unicorn, the one in a billion shot to become a billion dollar company overnight, but not really have any revenue and they're just paying people's salaries on hopes and dreams and equity based salary I, you know, I it's interesting if you're ever in Houston I speak at a lot of events in Houston and if you compare the first speaker and then my speech they are night and day in terms of things so I'm not I'm a kind of a unique candidate or the media would make you believe that I'm a unique Republican so I live in the great state of Texas, but Houston, especially Harris County, is not Republican at all. And in fact, it is extremely Democratic. So being in a tech industry in Houston as a Republican is not, you know, it's, it's difficult to talk politics. So I've traveled, you know, I get classified in this weird group where they think I am untraveled, uneducated, not very smart <laughs> you know I guess pretty much what you guys think of me on YouTube as well but I've traveled a lot of different places uh, I have two degrees one from NYU and one from William Mary Law School and I had amazing professors super smart people I've uh, talked to on a daily basis um, I still keep in touch with a lot of them and a lot of them are doctors and I've gone on to do great things so I've also traveled a lot and seen different people. I have different experiences with different societies. I've been to Japan. I've gone to China dozens of times. My parents live in Hong Kong. I've gone to Accra, Ghana for the 50 year celebration of their independence, which was amazing. Uh, the fufu, if you've been there, is quite incredible and definitely worth the experience of eating it. But I've been to Italy with NYU, I've been to Ghana with NYU, I've been to with Nanjing with NYU. Recently, I've been gone to Ireland with Google. Yet, the experience that resonates most with me um, isn't really the travel, isn't really you know the education level. None of that matters, in my opinion, when you're talking about political views. Yes. It, it's important, but at the end of the day, there's something that trumps all of those, and that's your moxie. And moxie I define, and this is something that I've learned, is someone who goes against the grain, and when someone goes against the grain, like Donald Trump, he didn't take Cook money. If you don't know who the Cook brothers are, they bankroll most Republicans. Uh, they did not bankroll him. He did not take Republican support for the most part. He did things his own way and kept to it. That is, in my opinion, moxie. People are not going to like you very much. They're, not everyone will love you. Not everyone will like you. But do you continue to go on 
or do you give in? And I do not agree with any of his statements. He, uh, not, not his statement for, against Latinos, not his statement against African Americans, not his statements that he needs to build a wall or globalization or any, definitely not against, you know, his statements on women. But man, the guy has moxie, right? He has the ability to stand, take criticism, and still go the same way he was going and not be altered by opinions. And that's quite incredible in today's social media where opinions, I've always said this about social media, the people who are the loudest do not make up the majority of people. The majority of people are silent. And when people are complaining and whining and just going bonkers on it, they have a very, you see a very skewed version of actual reality. Uh, and that's what social media offers you. Social media offers you a skewed reality because the people you follow and your friends are likely to be similar to you. But I'm here to tell you that having friends and having experiences that are different, that's how you grow as a person. Anyway, I'm sure I'm going to get some interesting comments below but for the most part i think i am different in the fact that i'm making this video i did not want to make the video before the election was over or before the election to influence people i don't think youtubers should influence people that's my personal opinion i think people should make decisions themselves um, but the sun will rise tomorrow as well bye guys